What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing the plunger cameraman from Skibbity Toilet. We're gonna be drawing this character with a head pointed down. So let's start with the top edge. We're gonna start on the left side with a straight line. Go all the way across towards the right. Let's add some perspective to the top of the head. From the ends, angles up and then in towards the back. And then we'll close off the top with a straight line. From the bottom corners, let's step in, draw two straight lines coming down the side of the camera to right about there. And we'll close off the bottom with a straight line. Now you can draw the inside edge of the hood. From the outside corners, angle this down and in about halfway. And we'll pull that straight in. Let's trace the inside of the camera, leaving a thinner gap along the top. So we'll start on the left, going all the way across towards the right. And we'll add a slightly thicker edge along the sides and the bottom. Let's place that light underneath the camera on the left side. So we we'll draw a circle, going all the way around, and just tuck that up underneath. Trace that circle along the inside. On the outside of the circle, we'll draw that same angle line going up and then in behind. And I'm going to add a wire on the left. Curve this out and then in. And then we'll trace that along the inside. Now we're going to draw the inside edge of the coat just underneath the camera. Bend this down and then out towards the bottom of the coat. We'll go over towards the right side and do the same thing. Coming straight down and then bending that out. Now you want to wrap the coat around the legs. So we're going to start by going out and then down towards the side. Let's bring the side of the coat back up towards the top. So we're going to start back on the left, bend this in, and then up to right about there. And do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to go back to the center, add some detail to the body. We're going to start right in the middle with a point. Bend this out and then up toward the left and right side across the top of the collar. Going back to the center, angle the collar coming down and out toward the side. Angle this up and out in behind the coat. Now from the side, angle this down and in towards the center across the top of the vest. Now you want to place the tie in the center. From the inside of the collar, angle this down and in. Flatten off the bottom of the knot. And then from the bottom corners, angle the tie coming down and then out in behind the vest. Let's go to the center, draw a straight line coming down the middle. And we'll curve this down and then out toward the left and right side. Let's place two small buttons on the left side of that center line, one across the top and then one on the bottom. Now let's draw in the collar coat. We're going to start from the side, angle this up and out up and then back in. Halfway along the bottom line, angle is down and out. And angle is all the way down and then in towards the bottom. Let's add two small buttons on the left side, one along the top and one on the bottom. Now we're going to move back to the center, step down and add a curve, going up and then down. Let's leave a gap in the center, go to the left side, bend the leg going out and down towards the left heel. Go to the right, go out and then down towards the right heel. And then we'll round out the bottom of the feet. Starting from the left side, bend the foot, coming down and then up. Now I'm going to go back to the left side and curve the top of the foot. You want to go up, round out the foot and bend that down aiming towards the heel and we'll just curl it back up towards the inside. Let's add a thick sole along the bottom of the feet. We're gonna take this curve, step up, and just trace that across on both sides. Now, we're gonna close off the side of the leg with a curve. The inside of the coat, let's step out, curve this out, and then bend that down on top of the feet. Now with the legs in place, we can wrap the coat in behind. So on the left side, round this out and pull that in towards the side of the leg. 
and then we'll go in between and add one small curve. Now let's move back up to the top and stretch the arms out towards the side. Now on the left, we're going to start underneath that circle, then the arm coming down and then out towards the wrist. Now on the right side, we're going to start from the top of the collar, draw a short angle line coming down, and I'll draw that same curve, coming down and then out. Let's add the thumbs. We're going to go up, come down toward the tip of the thumb, round up the thumb, and then bend that back up. Let's curl three fingers around the handle. Starting from the side of the thumb, start with a half oval, going out and then in. Come down, draw another oval, going up underneath the thumb. And then we'll do that one more time. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting with that half oval. A full oval going underneath the thumb. And then once more. Now, we're gonna line up with the center of the hand going all the way up towards the top. Let's draw an oval for the plunger. We're gonna go out, come in, and then back up towards the top. Let's do the same thing on the right. Lining up with the center of the hand, going up towards the top, going in, out, and then back up. Let's connect the outside of the oval with a half circle. We're gonna come down towards the bottom, Let's add a small half circle along the bottom. And then from the bottom of the plunger, let's draw two straight lines coming down in behind the hand. And then we'll continue these two lines along the bottom of the hand, coming down along the side of the handle. Close off the bottom with a curve. Now we're going to go back up to the wrist, we're going to curve the palm, coming in and then out in behind the handle. From the inside of the palm, let's bend the arm, coming in and then up behind the side of the body. Let's separate the cuff with another curve. And then we'll add a trim along the top of the plunger. And then we'll sign our art and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw the plunger cameraman from Skibbity Toilet. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. We've got some exciting news to share with all of you. We're offering a variety of incredible options to level up your art skills. Join our exclusive masterclass memberships for just $1 a month or catch more free tutorials on our Excel sketch channel every week. Don't miss out on any of these amazing opportunities. So subscribe or join today.